Um, and I will now introduce you to our opening speaker, who is Councilwoman Linda Ujifusa, um, and she will be opening up today. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, I'm honored to be speaking. My name is Linda Ujifusa. I'm Vice President of the Portsmouth Town Council. Um, I'm also on the Executive Committee of the RI Democratic Women's Caucus and Co-Chair of the Rhode Island Healthcare Access and Affordability Partnership Advocating Single-Payer Medicare for All. But tonight, <laughs> tonight I'm speaking for myself because I am also a third-generation Japanese-American. Uh, racism against Asians is not new. In 1942, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, incarcerating about 120,000 people of Japanese ancestry, including my mother's family. They were forced into the Thule Lake internment camp and lost their family farm. Despite my grandparents being legal immigrants and my mom and her siblings being uh, native-born Americans. My father, who enlisted in the U.S. Army a day after Pearl Harbor, had his West Point admission rescinded because he was Japanese-American. Now, there's no evidence of sabotage or spying, but to quote the American general in charge of the coast, a Jap is a Jap. They are a dangerous element, whether loyal or not. So it was decades before uh, my Nisei parents could talk to their post-war children about the camps. My family, like most other Japanese Americans, simply covered their sense of loss and betrayal with the Japanese phrase, shigata ga nai, it cannot be helped. Uh, to use the vernacular, just suck it up. So what has changed today? Sadly, there's still racism and discrimination, but I am at a public vigil commemorating the Georgia victims with a group of people of all nationalities and backgrounds who do not believe shigataganai, you believe you can and must work against racism, even when led by a former president of the United States. Now, I know you're all super busy with work and family or battling other issues, I get that. But please do not think that you do not have the knowledge or skills to get more involved, you know, run for office. As, uh, as vice president of the Portsmouth Town Council, um, are you aware that since Mayor Alan Fung left office, I, I think I am the highest ranking Asian American elected official in Rhode Island? I, now, clearly, clearly we can and must do better, right? So thank you again for being here and thank you for helping make racism something about which we no longer say shikataga night. Thank you. Thank you so much, Councilwoman.